Hey, what's up guys? Dustin Steiner from Esports Max here. I'm out here in front of the Wyndham Resort where CEO 2014 is kicking off. Uh, there's a thousand entrants here across 13 different titles. We also have the Capcom Pro Tour Premier Tournament going on here, the winner of which will be entered into the Capcom Cup at the end of the year. Um, you know, we're going to head inside and show you around. All right, now we're inside of the venue, uh, the Wyndham Resort Convention Center. Um, as you can see, we're in Artist Alley. Uh, various artists have uh, have their wares on sale here. Um, you know, some FGC-related stuff and some just kind of nerd culture stuff going on too. Um, you know, if we move right inside the hall here, that's where all the games are being played. But we're going to go ahead and talk to some of the vendors first. What's going on, everybody? Uh, this is I'm Dylan uh, Wright of Esports Max, and uh, with me here is Jessica, the maker of these lovely um, beads here. So we we'll just figured we'll ask her a few questions on the uh, the venue tour, and uh, you know, see what's been going on. Yeah. So, uh, how'd you get into this? Well, I started making it just for myself and for my friends uh, in the Tennessee, Alabama area, and then I made it out of my hotel room one time, and it blew up. And now I attend a lot of events, and vendor CEO being my absolute favorite. I will never miss a CEO. Um, my first time vendoring was here last year, and it was really awesome. Uh, this year has been really great. I've sold a lot of stuff, especially Smash Brothers stuff, since that's like exploding on the scene right now. Um, so I've really been loving it. It's been awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so um, what ones have sold the most so far? Definitely I've sold a lot of foot dive dooms. People love foot dive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been really awesome. Uh, I designed that sprite last year for someone at this event. And uh, since then, people saw him wearing it and everyone's been wanting it. So it's been really awesome. Yeah, we have one right here. Foot right. dive. It's the foot dive. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> All right. So, um, so we've only been here for a little while now. Yeah. yeah and you said that uh, quite a few of them have sold. Yes, I've been really busy and I'm taking a lot of custom orders. Um, if people don't see what they want on my table, um, I'm making them live here at the event. So I have uh, a lot of orders on my plate for this evening. And, um, also, a lot of people are checking out my website and my Facebook at Pixelsaurus Sprites, and uh, it's been really, really rad. So how long does it take you uh, to make one of these? Um, it takes me like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on my familiarity with the sprite and the character. Um, when I custom design them, it takes up to an hour, but it's, I have a lot of fun doing it, so I don't consider it time wasted. <laughs> nice. Do you have a like, reference that you use to make them, or kind of off the top of your head? I usually just kind of like eyeball, I take a look at what they, you know, the actual video game character they're looking for, and I just go from there. I base everything off the Mega Man sprites, but then I just kind of freehand them. I don't use any uh, software or anything to help me out. I just make them. <laughs> yeah, I definitely noticed that they had a... Um a very Mega Man style yes, to them. They exactly. Had a, a Green Lantern one there earlier, and I thought that just looks exactly like Mega Man. It is, so, yes. Yeah, good that, job on thank that. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your tour. <laughs> Will do. Thank you. We're here at the uh, Genki Goth Studios booth uh, with Marianne, and so we're going to see uh, sort of what's been going on with the paintings over here. They're actually quite amazing. So, how long have you two been doing this for? Um, we've been doing this for like about 10 years or so, just experimenting and playing with different types of styles that we like. All right. And that's uh, you and your husband, right, that, uh, yes, that do that? Right. Yeah. My husband. Imaginary person Imaginary right here. Person. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. So um, what have your best sellers been so far? It's a hit or miss depending on what convention we're going to, but right now um, I think what, Dropkick actually has been pretty good. Um, Akuma, like Street Fighter stuff or whatever, has been going pretty well. And I sold out of almost all the Portal stuff we've had so far. So, I'm happy. <laughs> and uh, how, um, how have you been liking CEO this so far? This has been awesome. This is my first time going here, so I'm just like overwhelmed by all the stuff, but like in a good way, because it's like, oh, like all the noise that's going on and the, you know, video games that's going on, the tournaments, and people just like really passionate about it. And it's really cool to hear and to see, you know, so. <laughs> well, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Marianne, for uh, letting us see uh, some of your artwork here, and uh, enjoy the rest of CEO. All right, now, as you can see, we're inside the venue hall for CEO 2014. As you can see, there's pools for many, many games going on across, uh, up against the wall, and casual is going on towards the camera. Um, today, they're playing Ultra Street Fighter 4 in preparation for tomorrow's tournament. Um, and as you can see, we're panning around to the uh, cage area where uh, off-stream games are played. And then we pan further, and you see the boxing ring in which all the matches are, the main stage matches are played.
All right, guys. So concludes our venue tour of CEO 2014. If you liked what you saw, please follow us on Twitter at EsportsMax. Check out the rest of our CEO 2014 coverage at EsportsMax.com, the official home of the Capcom Pro Tour recaps. Please check those out. Thank you.